Είμαι ο Δημήτρης Οπετρόπουλος από το Καφέ Χάμπιτς στην πλατεία Νέας Μέγνης για τη διαδικτυακή τηλεόραση της Νέας Μέγνης nstv.gr και στην παρέα μας έχουμε το Boeing Gag του Πανιωνίου, Eric McCollum. Uh, Eric, good morning and thank you for being here. Καλημέρα, thank you for having me. Καλημέρα, λοιπόν. Uh, thanks a lot for being here. Uh, we will uh, talk about you, your past, how you started. And we will also talk uh, about your experience with Panionios in uh, the games of uh, the local champion of the local uh, of the Euro Cup and of the Greek Cup. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So, um, who's Eric? Uh, <laughs> I think um, Eric is just a um, quiet guy from um, from Canton, Ohio. Um, if you get to know me, I'm, I'm outgoing and you know I like to laugh and enjoy stuff. But on the court, I guess I'm serious and you know focused. And you love basketball? Oh, I love it. Love it. It's in the family. Um, my mother played. My father played. Me and my brother both play. Um, we just try to, you know, take advantage of the opportunities that we have. And I mean, there's nothing better. Nothing better. So Eric is from Ohio and from a basketball family. Yes. Uh, yes. Have you had any studies back in Ohio? Yes. Um, I studied business um, four years. Got my degree um, at a college in Indiana. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm. Not using it right now, obviously, playing basketball, but you know, when I'm done playing, I plan to use my degree. So how's the feeling uh, graduating from a university, from business, and doing another profession? Um, I mean, I think, I think it's a blessing right now because I'm doing what I love. Um, you know, I have a great opportunity for Panionis um, to play basketball for a great organization, a great team. And um, you know, I don't mind it. I know that at the end of the day, you know, if something happened, I can always go back and use that. Um, it's like a, a safe safety net. Uh, you have your degree. Mm -hmm. Ε, να πούμε λοιπόν ότι ο Έρικ μας είπε, ξέρουμε φυσικά ότι είναι από το Οχάιο, από μια αμυγός μπασκετική οικογένεια, η μητέρα του, ο πατέρας του, ο αδερφός του, α, είναι, παίζουν α, μπάσκετ. Ε, φυσικά όπως ε, όλοι οι Αμερικανοί που παίζουν μπάσκετ, έχει σπουδές στο business. Το μπάσκετ όμως τον τράβηξε, είναι η αγάπη του, είναι αυτό που του αρέσει και πιστεύει ότι το πτυχίο του, αν κάποια στιγμή του χρειαστεί, είναι μια ασφάλεια σε περίπτωση που δεν μπορέσει να συνεχίσει το μπάσκετ. Παίζει για μια πολύ μεγάλη ελληνική ομάδα, για ένα σοβαρό κλαμπ και περνάει πολύ καλά στην Ελλάδα. So, um, um, what happened uh, in the States and you moved out and you played basketball in Israel? Yes. You started your career eventually in Israel. Oh, my rookie year, I signed my first deal um, in Israel. Um, it, it's a lot different from Greece, um, you know, but it's a beautiful place. The weather is nice. Um, you know, it didn't go as planned. It didn't go as planned. I, I was the youngest. I was the rookie. Um, there in Israel, there's a Russian rule mm -hmm. where there has to be two Israelis on the court at all times. Um, we had five Americans. So, you know, at all times, two of us were out. Um, I didn't think I got a fair opportunity, but, you know, I think it made me stronger. It made me a better person and it made me more hungry and motivated. So. You know, I worked and I worked and I knew when the next opportunity would come, I'd be ready. To grab it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you played for uh, Netanya? Yes, the... Netanya, um, the Premier League in Israel. Okay, just one year for Netanya and then for, for another Israeli team? Yeah, second year I played um, for Hope El Fasaba. Um, okay. It's the second league team in Israel. Um, my opportunity came there and you know, I had a very good year and it helped bring me to Greece. Okay. Μα είπε λοιπόν ότι το πρώτο του επαγγελματικό συμβόλαιο ήταν στο Ισραήλ με την ομάδα α, Νετάνια, στην οποία δεν είχε πάρα πολλέ ευκαιρίε, διότι στι ε, ομάδε του Ισραήλ είναι συγκεκριμένο ο αριθμό Αμερικανών που επιτρέπεται να παίζουν. Προφανώ για να μην παίζουν ει βάρο των, ε, των, 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 των ε, Ισραηλινών παιχτών. Και έπαιξε και ακόμη μία χρονιά στην α, Χαποέλ Κφάρ. Φασάμπα. Say again. Fasaba. Fasaba, Hapoel Fasaba, λοιπόν, στην οποία είχε πολύ περισσότερε ευκαιρίε, ένιωσε πιο δυνατό, πήρε τα μπασκετικά του μαθήματα και εκεί και από την Hapoel του δόθηκε η ευκαιρία πια να έρθει στην Ελλάδα, στο ελληνικό πρωτάθλημα και, στο, και στην ομάδα τη Πάτρα. So, from Israel, you moved to Pacha. Give me the differences of the country and the team. Okay, um... The differences would definitely be the style of play. Um, Israel is very up tempo, very fast. Run and gun. Run and gun. gun. Yeah. Run and gun. Run and gun. Um, it's it's more loose. Um, I think here in Greece, the defense is you know much stronger. Um, there's more tactic involved. 
um, you know, just from being here, like the scouting is different, um, how we defend stuff. Um, it's, it's, it's more difficult, I would say, defensively, you know, for an opponent to score a lot of points or for a team to score a lot. Um, also, I think the fans here are, are very passionate, very passionate. Um, even even with the economy problems, they still come out, they support, they're strong, um, and they love the team. Mm -hmm. I think I think the biggest thing of this how the Greeks love basketball, the history of it. Um, also, I think um, the domestic players, like the Greek players, are very talented. Mm -hmm. um, they were, I think, they're better in Greece than they were in Israel. No knock on the Israeli players; they were talented as well. But I think the Greeks players are just. You know, another level. Μας είπε λοιπόν, μας είπε λοιπόν ότι το Ισραηλίτικο μπάσκετ, όπως γνωρίζουμε βέβαια, είναι ένα run and gun μπάσκετ, είναι ένα μπάσκετ εντυπωσιακό, στο οποίο οι παίχτες έχουν πάρα πολύ το νου τους κυρίως το να σκοράρουν, ενώ το μπάσκετ στην Ελλάδα, ακόμα και στον Απόλλο Ναπάτρας που ξεκίνησε την, την καριέρα του στην Α1, στην, στην Α2 με σχολείτε, είναι ένα μπάσκετ πιο στιμένο, είναι ένα μπάσκετ των προπονητών, οι άμυνε παίζουν πάρα πολύ μεγάλο ρόλο. Α, το παιχνίδι δεν είναι απλά εντυπωσιακό. Είναι ένα παιχνίδι το οποίο κρίνεται και από τι άμυνε. Αυτό το ξέρουν οι προπονητέ. Οπότε αντίκρισε σε μια ε, καινούργια μπασκετική πραγματικότητα. Φυσικά μα είπε και για του φιλάθλους ότι είναι πάρα πολύ πιο ζεστή. Και μα είπε και για του Έλληνε παίχτε, οι οποίοι είναι πάρα πολύ αξιόλογοι. Σε πάρα πολλέ ομάδε υπάρχουν Έλληνε παίχτε αξιόλογοι. Οπότε αυτό κάνει το επίπεδο του ελληνικού μπάσκετ σε σχέση με το επίπεδο του Ισραηλίτικου μπάσκετ πολύ ανώτερο. So, what was your experience uh, in Patra? Patra uh, plays uh, for the second league in, uh, in the Greek uh, basketball. What was your experience in Patra? Um, well, in Patra, I mean, they gave me my first opportunity to play at a high level, um, you know, in a competitive Greek league. I knew the history of the Greek league. Um, I knew, of course, about, you know, some of the success they had in the Euro League with teams, um, in the Euro Cup, and just how respected it is throughout all of Europe. So I was very thankful that Patra allowed me that opportunity to, you know, to test my talents, and they believed in me. Um, the fans there were phenomenal. They were phenomenal. Every game, they were coming, packing the gym, and they stayed behind us. I mean, we struggled in the beginning. We lost some games early, and we found a way to to come back and make the playoffs, um, to finish top eight, and you know, we had some key wins. But I think it was a great experience. The city is excellent. Um, I think just. Just being somewhere where you know basketball is such appreciated and people support you so much, you know, wherever you go, people are rooting for you and cheering for you. And I think that's a good feeling. You live that in Nazmirni as well. I'm pretty yes. sure you yes. will, and you are already <laughs> having that experience. Yes, for sure. Για την Πάτρα λοιπόν μας είπε ότι είναι μια πολύ όμορφη πόλη, η εμπειρία του από το μπάσκετ της Πάτρας είναι ότι οι πατρινοί υποστηρίζουν την ομάδα τους, είναι ένθεγμοι οπαδοί, εκεί άρχισε να ακούει και για το Eurocup αλλά και για την Ευρωλίγκα και βέβαια ένας παίκτης ο οποίος ακούει για την Ευρωλίγκα και για το Eurocup έχει και κάποιες βλέψεις στα συγκεκριμένα ευρωπαϊκά σαλόνια, ήταν λοιπόν η επιθυμία του κάποια στιγμή να, να πάρει μια μεταγραφή από την Πάτρα σε μια ομάδα η οποία θα συμμετέχει στην α, Ευρώπη. Μα τόνισε εδώ ότι ο κόσμο τη Πάτρα είναι πολύ ένθερμο, τον γνώριζαν, τον ακολούθησαν και κατά κάποιο τρόπο τον αγάπησαν. Παρόλο που έμεινε μία χρονιά στην Πάτρα, οι εντυπώσει του είναι πάρα πολύ καλέ. So we moved to Πανιόνιο, we moved to Νέα Σμύρνη. Uh, how, did you, how did you see Athens with your Πάτρα eyes? <laughs> Athens In the was, beginning. It was so much bigger. Um, yes. The Πάτρα is a, a smaller place. Um, I feel like everywhere I went, You know, I knew people, they knew me everywhere, so it was a smaller place. When I go to Athens, I, I think I blend in. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. Um, there's nowhere to park, ever, of course. ever. <laughs> of course. Um, but there's, there's so much to do, there's so many restaurants, there's nice places. Um, you know, there's a lot of places, like when my family come to visit, mm -hmm. I, I have, um, you know, more places to take them. Um, even American restaurants, like Fridays and stuff. But I think um, just, The speed of Athens, you know, it's a little bit quicker. Um, it reminds me of like um, like a small New York, you uh -huh. know, um, like that big city flow, um, traffic and stuff like that. But I, I like it. I like it. Uh, while you played for uh, Patras, have you been following the Super League? Oh, um, and how teams are performing in the Super League? Because it was your, I assume it was your uh, dream as a next step in your career. Like well, um, I haven't um, really checked because they were um, A2 before I came. Okay. But the year that I played for them, they were mm -hmm. A1. So mm -hmm. 
I haven't really checked it or anything like that, but um, I, I look to see how Patrick does because you know I have friends who play there, and you know I wish them the best, um, you know as well as the coaches. So I, I root for them, um, except when they play us. But I hope wish them the best success in the future. Okay, uh, before I translate that, uh, do you hang out with uh, other American uh, basketball players that you found in Athens when you arrived? So you had any friends before? Like on my team or? Uh, no, I thought you did. In your team, obviously, oh, you yeah. people that you hang out with. Okay, uh, obviously my team, so I won't exclude them, but um, I hang out with um, Larry Turner. Okay. He plays for LFCNA. Mm -hmm. I played with him last year, and I'm Patra. And um, other than that, you know, pretty much just my teammates. Um, I just knew Larry from last season. We have a good relationship. You know, he's a good guy. And um, obviously, I'm um, Landon Milborn, um, Kevin Langford. Um, the guys from Bunyan. Yeah, he, all those guys. Guy, um, Mark, Oros, and then, you know, my Greek teammates as well. So, I mean, it's, we have a good um, group of guys. Everybody's friendly. And, you know, it's easy since we're all out here. Mm -hmm. You're not alone because we all have someone to, to be around. And, You know, hang out with. Uh, μας είπε λοιπόν ότι πάντοτε παρακολουθούσε τις uh, εξελίξεις και στο Πανιόνιο και τις μεγαλύτερες ομάδες uh, της uh, Πάτρας. Η Αθήνα φυσικά είναι μια πολύ μεγαλύτερη πόλη με πάρα πολλούς γρήγορους ρυθμούς. Μάλιστα την αποκάλεσε μια μικρή Νέα Υόρκη με πάρα πολλά πράγματα να δεις και να κάνεις τον ελεύθερο χρόνο. Ας μην ξεχνάμε ότι οι προπονήσεις είναι πολλές. Ας μην ξεχνάμε ότι μέχρι στιγμής η ομάδα παίζει α, δύο παιχνίδια, ένα μεσοβδόμαδα και ένα στην, α, μέσα στο Σαββατοκυριακό. Στον ελεύθερο του χρόνο έχει αρκετά πράγματα να κάνει. Έχει βρει και αμερικάνικα εστιατόρια. Οπωσδήποτε συναναστρέφεται με τους συμπατριώτες του από τον Πανιόνιο. Μας είπε όλα τα ονόματα των παιδιών που συναναστρέφεται και με Έλληνες φυσικά. Αλλά και με ένα-δύο αθλητές πατριώτες του από άλλες ε, ε, ελληνικές ομάδες. Περνάει καλά λοιπόν. Είναι πολύ ευχαριστημένος και όσο η ομάδα πηγαίνει καλά είναι ευχαριστημένος και επαγγελματικά και προσωπικά. So let's uh, talk about uh, work. No. <laughs> let's talk about basketball as, as, as your job. Uh, you started off very nicely. Uh, Panionios ended up last year third place behind uh, Panathinaikos and Olympiakos, who are supposed to be the two very big um, Greek uh, basketball teams, and, and they uh, and they also are supposed to be uh, very very big teams in Europe. Don't, uh, let's not forget Olympiakos uh, won the championship in Europe last year, and Panathinaikos has has uh, six championships mm -hmm. in Europe. So, uh, uh, Panionios started this year with the wish to, uh, to have a better accomplishment than last year. What were the, coach, uh, um, what were the coaches, um, how would I say, what were the coaches' directions uh, to the players? Well, basically, um, he wants us to be the best that we can be um, every day, every night, and we got to come out. We have to prepare, whether it's a practice, whether it's a game, we have to be focused and we have to treat everything, you know, serious because, you know, we, when you come out, Panionios, there's big expectations, um, there's big goals within the organization um, for the fans and with us, you know, we, we want that. You don't want to be in a situation where people don't believe or they don't want, you know, to be the best that they can be. And I think, I think it's good that we have those expectations, but um, he's preparing us for it. Um, we want to be considered one of the top teams in Greece. We want to be one of the better teams in Euro Cup. Uh, we know that's going to be difficult. You know, we have to work hard. We have to prepare. But we feel that with the talent we have, with the coaching, and with um, the mindset and the focus, if we bring that every night, um, we're capable of attaining that goal. Ε, ρωτήσαμε λοιπόν τον Έρικ ποιε ήταν οι προσωπικέ του φιλοδοξίε αλλά και του coach Σφερόπουλου σε μια χρονιά που ο Πανιόνιο ξεκινάει με την κατάκτηση τη τρίτη θέση στο τέλο τη περσινή σεζόν. Ο Έρικ μα είπε ότι ο coach Σφερόπουλο αλλά και οι ίδιοι θέλουν να δώσουν όλο του τον εαυτό, να παίξουν όπω πραγματικά ξέρουν να παίξουν. Ξέρουν ότι το πρωτάθλημα είναι δύσκολο, ξέρουν ότι οι αγώνε στο EuroCup είναι δύσκολοι. Έχουν φιλοδοξίες να προκριθούν στον α, επόμενο γύρο. Φαίνεται με το καλό ότι θα το πετύχουν. Είναι δύσκολα τα παιχνίδια, είναι κοραστικοί οι αγώνες, αλλά αν όλα τα παιδιά δώσουν τον καλύτερο τους σε αυτό, σε συνδυασμό με την α, καθοδήγηση του κότς Σφερόπουλου, πιστεύουν ότι θα έχουν μια επιτυχία μεγαλύτερη από πέρσι. So Eric, what would, what would be an extra success as of last year's performance? I think... Um, I think personally to improve upon last year, I mean, they had a great team last year. Um, as you said, they finished third. Um, they didn't advance in EuroCup. So I, I would like to take the next step. 
um, I would like our team to, to advance in the Euro Cup and not just to get to the 32 stage, you know, to get there and, you know, to see if we can continue to move on, to mm -hmm. continue to improve, um, you know. We understand that there's very good teams in Greece, but you know we want to contend. We want to be a team that's considered someone that can challenge Panathinaikos and Olympiakos. Someone that you know can can beat them. You know we understand that well, they have big budget, they have excellent players, they have good coaches, but we believe in ourselves as well. And you know we know that we have work to do, but that's our goal. We want to get there. We want to be able to contend and compete with them. Uh, how about? maybe qualifying for the final of the Greek Cup, which is uh, at the back of your minds, oh, I would say. Oh, for sure. I mean, that would be big for Pena. Some As fans have come up to me and tell me it's been a long time since they've been in a final. I believe, I don't know, 91? Mm -hmm. But um, I want to definitely um, advance in the Greek Cup to the championship and, you know, it was one game. One game. Sure. So anything can happen in one game. But first we have to get there. You know, I also want to get to the 30, top 32 in the Euro Cup. And I want to finish high in the Greek League. So we have we have a lot on our plate, you know, a lot of things to do. But I think that's good. That's going to make us more hungry. That's going to allow us to work harder because in the back of our mind, we know our goals. We know what's there and we know what we have to do to get there. So you play with Aris uh, sometime uh, just before Christmas? Well, it's December 22nd. December 22nd. It's one game and you're playing Thessaloniki. Yes. That's, that's your chance to qualify for the final of the Euro Cup because Luckily enough for Panionios, Panathinaikos is facing Olympiakos, so you avoided one of them, I mean, well, which would be a bit more difficult. But at the end of the day, um, you know, Aris is a good team. Um, we played them already before. They have good fans. Um, you know, we know it's going to be a tough out. You know, whether it was Olympiakos, Panathinaikos, it doesn't matter. Every Greek player, every American, they want to get to the Greek Cup. They understand what's at stake. Um, and, there's no avoiding. I mean, either way, if we win, we're still going to have to play one of them. So um, it's not going to be easy either way. Um, but we understand that uh, we're capable and we got to take it one game at a time. But when the time comes, I feel like we'll be ready. Ρωτώντα τον λοιπόν, ποια πιστεύει ότι μπορεί να είναι η έξτρα φετινή επιτυχία τη ε, ομάδα του Πανιωνίου, συγκριτικά με πέρσι, ε, γνωρίζει φυσικά την πορεία του Πανιωνίου πέρσι στο ε, Euro Cup. Θέλει φυσικά αυτή η πορεία να συνεχιστεί, όχι μόνο να περάσουν στου 32, να περάσουν και σε επόμενη φάση, γιατί όχι και στου 16, και να μπορέσουν να ανταγωνιστούν τι μεγάλε ομάδε ε, σε ευρωπαϊκό επίπεδο. Ε, Ρωτώντα τον Δε για την. Ε, για τον αγώνα με τον Άρη, για τον ημιτελικό του κυπέλου Ελλάδα, στον οποίο ο Πανιόνιο έχει προκριθεί, είπε ότι στο πίσω μέρο του κεφαλιού του βρίσκεται η νίκη στο Αλεξάνδριο. Σκοπεύουν λοιπόν να νικήσουν στο Αλεξάνδριο, έτσι ώστε να παίξουν με ή τον Ολυμπιακό ή τον Παναθηναϊκό για τον τελικό του κυπέλου Ελλάδα. Και εκεί φυσικά είναι ένα παιχνίδι 50-50. Είναι βέβαια και οι, και οι δύο οι μεγάλε ελληνικέ ομάδε με μεγάλα μπάτζετ, με πολύ καλού παίχτε. Η ομάδα του Πανιωνίου όμω και συγκεκριμένα και προσωπικά ο ΕΕΚ θέλει να κάνει τα πάντα να δικαιώσει τον προπονητή του, να δικαιώσει την ομάδα που τον, που τον πήρε στην, στην, στην ομάδα και να προσπαθήσει να κάνει το καλύτερο δυνατό έτσι ώστε ο Πανιώνης μετά το 1991 να έχει μια διάκριση και στο ελληνικό κύπελο. So, uh... Your dreams, uh, your opportunities, and your chances uh, are at the moment with uh, the Euro Cup. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the last game you played against uh, St. Petersburg. You scored many points, you helped the team, you were the, I would say, the MVP of the last few minutes. You scored decisive points, the team won, and uh, you played in Elinico, so you played at home, and um, that opens the road to you. To, uh, to to be more uh, more hopeful of qualifying. What do you think of the next uh, games and which is which is the next game uh, um, next next week? I think we played Neptunus okay. um, Wednesday in Lithuania, so we'll be on the road. The thing about the Euro Cup is every week, mm -hmm. you know, the stakes are higher, games are more important. Um, there's no there's no rest days, there's no easy days, um, and you're fighting for your life, like. Unlike a regular season game, okay, you want to win every game, but if you lose, it doesn't spell to the end of the season. If you lose a game in Euro Cup, it could be the end. You could, you could be done. So I think that makes it even you know, more difficult as far as teams coming, fighting to the end, and we're fighting to the end. Um, but I think um, that was a big win for us, for Spartak. Um, you know, it helped put us in a better position. 
Nothing is done yet. Nothing is done. Um, we have three games left. We're only one game up. Um, this Neptunus game will be huge because they're one game behind us. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, only the top three advance in the group. So, um, you know, we don't want to depend on someone to lose or this team to do that. We just want to worry about ourselves and handle business ourselves. We understand that if we win games, we're in. And as far as it goes, we don't have to look at the schedule or look at the games or be hoping. We just and we like that feeling. It's good to control your own destiny and you know just to to not have to worry about any outside factors. What is your uh, record in the Euro Cup so far? Euro Cup, we're four and three. Four and three. So you won uh, four times, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah. four, four times in uh, at, at home. Three times. Three at times home, at home and one. One on a road. Uh, on the road to uh, uh, Saint Petersburg. Yep. Ε, Μιλώντα λοιπόν για το θεσμό του Eurocup, ο ΕΕΚ μα υπενθύμησε ότι ο Πανιόνιο έχει, έχει ένα αριθμό τεσσάρων εικών και τριών ετών. Έχει κερδίσει τρει φορέ στην έδρα του και μία φορά εκτό έδρα στην Αγία Πετρούπολη, την οποία, με την οποία μάλιστα ε, έχει και ισχυρό πλεονέκτημα σε περίπτωση ισοβαθμία. Ένα πάρα πολύ δύσκολο παιχνίδι είναι την επόμενη εβδομάδα με την Νεπτούνα. Θα το χτυπήσουν από ό,τι μα είπε, όπω χτυπάνε όλα τα παιχνίδια. Βλέπουν το κάθε παιχνίδι ξεχωριστά. Βέβαια, είναι πάρα πολύ κουραστική όλη αυτή η διαδικασία του να πάνε σε μια ευρωπαϊκή πρωτεύουσα να παίξουν ένα παιχνίδι και να ξαναγυρίσουν. Διότι ακολουθεί παιχνίδι του ελληνικού πρωταθλήματο. Αλλά παρόλα αυτά, όλοι οι παίχτε δεν το βάζουν κάτω και προσπαθούν να πετύχουν ό,τι το δυνατόν καλύτερο μπορούν, που είναι αυτή τη στιγμή η πρόκληση στου 32. Um, Eric, how tiring is that uh, moving from one city to another every 15 days? I mean, it, it can definitely be exhausting, um, you know, from the late night flights um, to waking up early in the morning. Um, as you know, um, we'll leave Tuesday, have practice, um, go through a whole schedule, play Wednesday, leave early in the morning, come back, you know, have practice Thursday, Friday, and then a game Greek League Saturday. And then we we'll do it all over again. So, like, just the traveling, um, you know, changing the weather, changing temperatures, um, playing in multiple games a week, and then it's not like it's easy because in the Greek league, you know, the teams are tough. It's not like we get a rest or a break. Like, oh, we come back to domestic league and it's easy. No, um, same level, high level basketball in the Euro Cup. We come back to the Greek league and it's still high level teams. So there's no there's no rest. Um, and, But I think it makes you mentally tougher. Um, you know, we don't make excuses. We knew what it was when we signed up for it. Um, we knew playing in the Euro Cup, playing in the Greek League, and you know having, you know, high goals also in the Greek Cup. Mm -hmm. But would bring out, you know, some fatigue. But you know, we won't use that as an excuse. We understand that we have a deep roster. We have a lot of talent, and we have to just make sure that we do our best to maintain. That's why we worked hard in the preseason. That's why I worked hard in the summer. You know, with my brother by myself and me and him. To make sure I'm in shape, you know, to withstand a long season and all the games and all that lies ahead. Ρωτήσαμε λοιπόν τον Έρικ κάτι που πάρα πολλοί κόσμοι ε, αναρωτιέται. Πόσο δύσκολο είναι αυτό το ένα ταξίδι κάθε 15 μέρε εκτό Νέα Μίγνη και αμέσω μετά να ακολουθεί ένα παιχνίδι της, α, του ελληνικού πεδαθλήματο. Ε, Μα είπε φυσικά ο Έρικ ότι είναι πάρα πολύ δύσκολο, ακόμα και οι καιρικέ συνθήκε αλλάζουν. Φεύγουν λοιπόν Τρίτη, κάνουν μια προπόνηση στη, στο μέρο που παίζουν, παίζουν την Τετάρτη και την επόμενη μέρα ξαναφεύγουν. Ε, για να γυρίσουν στο ελληνικό πρωτάθλημα να αντιμετωπίσουν μια εξίσου ανταγωνιστική ομάδα γιατί κατά τον έρευνα το ελληνικό πρωτάθλημα ε, είναι υψηλού επίπεδου οπότε είναι πάρα πολύ δύσκολο ακόμα και σωματικά βέβαια και η ομάδα έχει βάθος και ο coach ε, είναι μαζί τους και οι ίδιοι έχουν πολύ μεγάλες αντοχές έχουν πολλές φιλοδοξίες, έχουν κίνητρα και κατά τον έρευνα η προετοιμασία της ομάδας του Πανιωνίου, αλλά και η προετοιμασία που έκανε ο καθένας τους ατομικά, όπως έκανε ο ίδιος με τον, με τον αδερφό του, τους έχουν βοηθήσει σωματικά για να μπορούν να αντιμετωπίσουν μέχρι το τέλος της σεζόν όσο δυνατόν με λιγότερη κόπωση τους συγκεκριμένους αγώνες. So, uh, we're getting close to Christmas and uh, you're still gonna have uh, games. You will stay around between practices and game and practices. No free time. Not no free time. Not a lot of free time. I'll probably I'll probably have some family come out and visit me. Um, From Ohio. Yes. They're coming over. Yes. Um, different times. Um, my brother can't because he has games. Um, he might come at the end of the season, depending on if they make playoffs or not, or how far they go. 
Um, I'll have my mother and father come. Um, you know, if you can't, you know, go home and spend time with them, you bring them to you. So it'd be nice to see them, um, spend some time with them. So, but no, other than that, you know, we have a job. You know? Work, work, work. We got to be focused and we got to handle business. Τον ερωτήσαμε λοιπόν α, τις α, γιορτές των Χριστουγέννων, τι ακριβώς θα κάνει και φυσικά είπε ότι έχει δουλειά, έχει παιχνίδια, υπάρχει το παιχνίδι με τον Άρη, συνεχίζεται το ελληνικό πρωτάθλημα, πάρα πολύ λίγες μέρες ξεκούραση, βέβαια είναι πολύ χαρούμενος γιατί κάποιοι συγγενείς του, η οικογένειά του θα έρθει από τις Ηνωμένες Πολιτείες να τον, να τον επισκεφτεί, αλλά παρόλα αυτά η ξεκούραση θα είναι πάρα πολύ λίγη. Let's go back to the Greek Championship. Um, you played against Panathinaikos, who ended up first last year. You haven't played against uh, Olympiakos. And you've played against uh, some other teams, both in Nea Smyrny and outside. So what do you think of Panionis' performance so far? And what do you think of Eric's performance so far? Um, I, think, I think we've had our moments ups and downs. Um, you know, we, um, we lost the game to drama that you know, we shouldn't have lost. Um, we didn't come ready to play. No excuses, they played well that game. Um, and it's unfortunate that we didn't take advantage of our opportunity there. Um, against Panathinaikos, we were strong for about you know, 25 to 30 minutes, but um, as you know, you have to play 40 minutes, especially of a team of that caliber. Um, so you know, 25 to 30 minutes isn't enough. And um, we ended up struggling you know, in the fourth quarter. They made plays and we ended up losing. I mean, outside of those two games, we have been okay. Um, I think we can be better. You know, as Coach said, we can be better defensively, you know, being focused and in tune on it for 40 minutes, you know, making sure that we come with the same intensity every night, whether you're playing the first place team or the last place team. Um, I think as far as that, you know, I'm not satisfied. Um, I would like us to win, you know, every game if possible, of course. But, um, you know, sometimes you're going to lose. It happens, but there's a way to lose, you know, when you're following the tactics that the coaches have set, when you're doing everything you can, you know, to help your team um, and you're playing to the best of your ability and you lose, okay, that can happen. But I think more times than not, when we do those things, you know, we will win. You know, as far as I'm playing, I think I'm doing um, okay as well. Um, you know, there's things I need to touch up on. Um, I can um, be a little bit better defensively. I think I'm doing okay, but, you know, we have to pressure the ball. You know, I have to make sure I'm fighting over screens. Um, you know, as far as other than that, you know, I got to do a you know, better job of organizing. Um, I think I'm, I'm maintaining it, you know, trying to find a balance between scoring and creating. Um, it can get difficult because, you know, sometimes you don't want to, you want to get people involved or sometimes you got to know when to score, but, you know, I'm learning when to and when not to. Τον ρωτήσαμε λοιπόν για το ελληνικό πρωτάθλημα. Ε, θυμηθήκαμε ότι από τι δύο δυνατότερε ομάδε ο Πανιόνιο έχει παίξει εκτό έδρα με τον α, Παναθηναϊκό. Τον ρωτήσαμε ε, πόσο ευχαριστημένο είναι από την απόδοση τη ομάδα και πόσο ευχαριστημένο είναι από την απόδοση του εαυτού του. Για την απόδοση τη ομάδα μα είπε ότι θεωρεί ότι τον αγώνα με τη δράμα ο Πανιόνιο δεν έπρεπε να τον έχει χάσει. Κάναν κάποια λάθη, τα οποία καλό θα είναι να μην επαναλάβουν. Uh, για τον αγώνα με τον Παναθηναϊκό είπε ότι η ομάδα προσπάθησε κατά το πρώτο ημίχρονο, έπεσε όμως η απόδοσή της, έβγαλε, έβγαλε καλά, καλές, καλά παιχνίδια, καλές μπαλιές και πάσες ο, ο Παναθηναϊκός και επικράτησε του Πανιωνίου. Uh, για τον εαυτό του μας είπε ότι θα πρέπει να βρει μια καλύτερη ισορροπία μεταξύ του να σκοράρει και του να δημιουργεί. Έχει πάρα πολύ υψηλό μέσον όρο ο Έρικ Πακόλων και στην Ευρώπη και στην uh, Ελλάδα. Δεν ξεχνάμε όμω ότι ένα playmaker είναι και δημιουργό. Άρα θα πρέπει να βρει λοιπόν μια καλύτερη ισορροπία το να δημιουργεί για την ομάδα του, να μοιράζει πάσε, αν είναι δυνατόν να μοιράζει περισσότερε assist και φυσικά νιώθει ότι πρέπει να βελτιωθεί και, στην, και στα αμυντικά του καθήκοντα. Φυσικά η επιθυμία του είναι να κερδίζουν όλα τα παιχνίδια, αλλά κυρίω η επιθυμία του είναι να δίνουν το κάτι παραπάνω από αυτά που μπορούν και να ακολουθούν ακριβώ τι εντολέ του προπονητή. Εάν χάσουν σημαίνει ότι η άλλη ομάδα έπαιξε εκείνο το παιχνίδι καλύτερα. Αλλά όμως, όπως μας είπε συγκεκριμένα, υπάρχει τρόπος να χάσεις. Υπάρχει τρόπος να ακολουθήσεις τις οδηγίες του προπονητή σου και η άλλη ομάδα να παίξει καλύτερα, αλλά υπάρχει και τρόπος να μην ακολουθήσεις τις οδηγίες του προπονητή σου και τότε να χάσεις από δικά σου λάθη. I really appreciated your, uh, your phrase saying there's a way to lose. So you feel much more uh, comfortable if you play against team, you follow your coach's uh, directions and you lose, and you feel better with yourselves rather than not doing what the coach uh, says. Exactly, because um, you know, there's a reason that a coach, um, they're in a position you know, of authority 
they have the experience, um, they have the knowledge, and they know what's going to be best for the team. You know, as a player, you know, sometimes you can see what's best, you know, for you or for that. Or you, when a, As a coach, they look at what's best for the team in general, and they know what's going to be best for that player or for this player. They know what's going to help us get the ingredient of a win, and that's the number one priority. We want to win. So we believe that if we follow what the coaches say, um, and we do everything we can on our own individually. You know, if I'm staying after practice and I'm shooting, um, if I'm coming in early, um, if I'm taking care of my body, if I'm getting the proper rest, eating well, you know, we do that, we feel that we have a chance to beat anyone. But um, it just comes down to focus, um, dedication, and maturity. You know, you have to be mature and you have to be able to sacrifice and do what's best for the team. And I think we have a group of guys who are more than willing to do that. Μα είπε λοιπόν ότι έχει πάρα πολύ μεγάλη σημασία η ομάδα να λειτουργεί ω πραγματική ομάδα, ο καθένα να μην σκέφτεται τον εαυτό του, τα προσωπικά του στατιστικά, να λειτουργεί ο ένα για τον άλλον. Ο κότσα Σφερόπουλο του κατευθύνει ακριβώ σε αυτόν τον στόχο και τον σκοπό. Από εκεί και πέρα, ατομικά, φυσικά πρέπει να σκέφτονται τον εαυτό του, πρέπει να σκέφτονται το σώμα του, πρέπει να σκέφτονται το, το, τον τόπο που τρώνε, το τι τρώνε, το πόσο ξεκουράζονται, το αν για αυτού η προπόνηση αρχίζει και τελειώνει. Την ώρα τη προπόνηση ή λίγο πριν, λίγο μετά. Όπω μα είπε ο ίδιο ο Έρικ, πηγαίνει πριν την προπόνηση και κάνει σουτ. Άλλωστε, όλοι ξέρουμε ότι έχει πάρα πολύ καλό τρίποντο. Αντίστοιχα, κάθεται μετά την προπόνηση και κάνει ε, ατομική πρακτική. Άρα, λοιπόν, και ο Έρικ και όλα τα παιδιά του Πανιωνίου, αλλά φυσικά και ο προπονητή, θέλουν να νιώθουν ότι και ατομικά και ομαδικά κάνουν ό,τι είναι δυνατόν και ξεπερνάνε τι δικέ του τι δυνάμει για να πετύχουν το επιθυμητό αποτέλεσμα που είναι η νίκη. Uh, Eric Panionios is uh, well known as the team that defends their own home. And uh, outside drama this year, uh, you've defended uh, your own home. Uh, last year, Panionios defended their own home against Panathinaikos. Do you feel you, you, you will do that um, good habit uh, for this year as well? Um, yeah, I mean, this is a different team. Um, we have a different identity. Um, we have different strengths, we have different weaknesses. You know, I don't, I don't know who is better or who is worse. You know, we'll leave that for you guys to decide, um, you know, and you'll know in June. But I think um, it's definitely a big, a big trait to have to defend home court. I mean, when you have a, a great crowd, you have fans who believe in you and support you and who are coming in every night, um, you get so much energy from that. Um, you know, I know for myself, it allows me to play at a higher level. You know, when I know I have the crowd behind me and, you know, it's just, you know, your adrenaline's pumping, you're excited. Um, it, def it definitely is a huge boost. Um, it also intimidates some teams, you know. Um, you know, it might have them feeling a little uneasy and you have all the, of course. the fans on you screaming. Of course. So, um, I think it's important that we use that advantage and we use that to propel us to wins. And I think we can do that and um, I hope we continue. Θυμήσαμε λοιπόν στον Έρικ ότι ο Πανιόνιος διαχρονικά είναι ομάδα η οποία είναι γνωστή για το ότι κρατάει την νίκη στην έδρα του. Δύσκολα χάνει α, εντός έδρας και μάλιστα ο Πανιόνιος παίξει κέρδισε και το Μαναθηναϊκό. Έχει κάνει λοιπόν μεγάλες νίκες εντός έδρας. Δύσκολα ομάδα περνάει από το κλειστό της Αρτάκης Νικηφόρα. Μα θύμισε ο Έρικ ότι η φετινή ομάδα είναι άλλη ομάδα, είναι άλλοι άνθρωποι, έχουν άλλες αδυναμίες και έχουν και άλλα δυνατότερα. Σημεία. Βλέπει όμως ότι ο κόσμος του Πανιωνίου είναι σε κάθε παιχνίδι εκεί, τους ντοπάρει, τους δίνει μεγάλη ψυχολογική δύναμη, κατά κάποιον τρόπο φοβίζει και τις α, καλεσμένες ομάδες, φοβίζει και τους α, αντίπαλους παίκτες, αυτό το εκμεταλλεύονται και προσπαθούν να κρατήσουν και αυτή και η φετινή ομάδα το αίτητο. Αυτό βέβαια θα το δούμε στο τέλος της α, σεζόν και θα το κριτικάρουμε εμείς οι δημοσιογράφοι αθλητικοί. Α, What are the next games uh, you're facing before the, the uh, before Christmas? Um, we play um, Icaros um, Saturday. Um, Outside. Yep. At Icaros. Okay. Um, Wednesday, we play um, Neptunus. Mm -hmm. um, then um, I'm not quite sure we play next. I try to I try not to look too far ahead, you know, because you don't want to get in the mindset of you know overlooking the team. You or, face game. One game at a time. One game at a time. So I always know who we played next in the Greek League, and I always know who we played next in Euro Cup. So I think it, I think it helps prepare me, you know, not to look ahead or not to overlook anything, just to be ready mentally. So how are, how are you preparing for Icarus and uh, traveling to Tunis? Um, for Icarus, um, we understand that um, you know right now um, 
they have two wins. So that means they're gonna come and they're gonna wanna defend the home court. They're gonna come tough, they're gonna, come, they're gonna fight. Um, I think it's important that we come in and we establish a rhythm early and um, we come in and kinda predict the flow of the game. You know, with our defensive intention, intensity, um, you know, executing, and I think if we can do that and establish who we are, um, it will make the game a little easier for us. But I think it will be a tough game, you know, a tough atmosphere um, against a team who, who's desperately fighting, you know, to stay up. And we have to be ready for that. We have to know that they're going to, you know, play with desperation. And a team that plays with desperation, you know, is a team that you never overlook because they want to do anything to win. Um, as far as um, Neptune's game, that's a crucial game. Um, we understand that this could be a game that could help us propel into the next round. And, you know, we, we, we lost to them. Our only game we lost at home all year. Um, in Euro Cup or Greek League, we have lost no games. But Neptunus came in and they snuck a win. So I think it's important that we come back and we return the favor. And that would change everything for us in a Euro Cup. Τον ρωτήσαμε λοιπόν πώ προέκυψαν ποια είναι τα επόμενα παιχνίδια τη ομάδα. Το πρώτο επόμενο παιχνίδι είναι με τον Ίκαρο εκτό έδρα. Μα θύμισε, γνωρίζει φυσικά και ο ίδιο, ότι η ομάδα του Ίκαρο έχει μόνο δύο νίκε. Οπότε θα είναι διψασμένη για την νίκη. Η ομάδα του Πανιωνίου προετοιμάζεται ψυχολογικά να μην αφήσει την ομάδα του Ίκαρου να κάνει το παιχνίδι τη. Τα παιδιά του Ικάρου θα θέλουν οπωσδήποτε να κερδίσουν εντό έδρα και να αυξήσουν τι νίκε του. Η ομάδα του Πανιωνίου και οι εντολέ του προπονητή του είναι να μην αφήσει την ομάδα του Ικαρου να επιβάλλει το ρυθμό τη, να προσπαθήσουν ψυχολογικά αλλά και σωματικά μέσα από το αμυντικό του παιχνίδι να σταματήσουν τη ροή, όπω μα είπε, το momentum τη ομάδα του Ικαρου και μέσα από εκτέλεση και μέσα από παραγωγή λοιπόν επιθετική να πάρουν το ωραίο σφύλλο αγώνα. Στο επόμενο παιχνίδι για το Eurocup, το οποίο είναι πάρα πολύ σημαντικό διότι μα θύμισε ότι από την Νεπτούνα ο Πανιόνιο έχει ιτηθεί, θέλουν όπω μα είπε συγκεκριμένα να του γυρίσουν την α, χάρη και είναι βέβαιο ότι αν η ομάδα του Πανιόνιου καταφέρει και κερδίσει, τότε θα προκριθεί στον επόμενο γύρο των α, 32. So, you have a very important game for uh, the Eurocup and a very important game for the Greek Cup. I wish the I wish the holiday season gives you the next two victories you need, <laughs> because if you get those two victories, um, you will have added to last year's performance. You will have qualified to the final game of the Greek uh, Cup, which we both know that it's a 50-50 game at no one's home, at a neutral court, as every year and you will have qualified, you will probably, with a very high probability, you will have qualified for the second round of the Euro Cup and you will enjoy your Christmas season with your family, friends and fans. Yes, yes. You know, uh, Panionios fans are very demanding. I don't know if you have felt it, if, if they've talked to you when you leave the court, but they're <laughs> very demanding. Uh, well, I appreciate that. I hope we um, definitely get those wins. Um, we're going to do everything we can. And, you know, it's nothing that I haven't seen. Um, I hold myself to a high standard. Um, you know, this is why I put so much into the game, you know, why I work so hard, you know, why I dedicate myself in the summers, you know, when you know, no one sees me. When I'm back home, I'm working out, preparing. And I have high goals for myself and for my team. So, you know, anything that they have placed on us, you know, it's just more motivation to do better. You know, we understand that they come out and support us, and you know, I want to see them happy. You know, if we can win games and we can advance and go farther, that people expect, and you know, that's what we want to do. But at the end of the day, you know, I think I'm my, my biggest critic. Uh, I'm my hardest. I'm the hardest on myself and what I expect from myself. So anything that anyone expects of me, it, it can't compare to what I expect from myself. Υπογραμμίσαμε λοιπόν στον Έρικ ότι τόσο το παιχνίδι του κυπέλου Ελλάδα με τον Άρη στη Θεσσαλονίκη, όσο και το παιχνίδι με την Νεπτούνα είναι πάρα, πάρα πολύ σημαντικά, διότι αν η ομάδα τα κερδίσει και τα δύο, θα προκριθεί στον τελικό του κυπέλου Ελλάδα, ο οποίο γνωρίζουμε ότι ασχέτω αν θα αντιμετωπίσει τον Παναθναϊκό τον Ολυμπιακό, είναι ένα παιχνίδι 50-50, και θα περάσει και στον επόμενο γύρο του Euro Cup, στο γύρο των 32. Οπότε πρακτικά μπορεί από πολύ νωρί η ομάδα να έχει ήδη πετύχει του δύο πρώτου του στόχου. Και φυσικά του υπενθυμίσαμε ότι η Νέα Σμύρνη και η οπαδοί του Πανιωνίου είναι πάρα πολύ απαιτητικοί. 
ρωτώντα τον αν ήδη τον έχουν, α, έχουν μιλήσει μαζί του και του έχουν δώσει όθηση και κοράγιο, είπε ότι την α, πρώτη ανταγωνιστικότητα και τον πρώτο ανταγωνισμό τον βάζει ο ίδιο τον εαυτό του, θέλει ο ίδιο να έχει ψηλά στάνταρ. Άρα λοιπόν τόσο τα αποτελέσματα, οι στόχοι αλλά και οι επιθυμίε των οπαδών τον κάνουν να νιώθει πιο δυνατό και δεν του δημιουργούν πίεση. So no pressure from the fans, you feel strong enough and it's an extra motivation. Oh, no pressure at all. I mean, just from how I was raised, you know, my parents, they always expected, you know, the best of us, you know, for me and my brother to get the best grades, for us to, to behave well, to conduct yourself well, because every time you step out, you know, you don't just represent yourself, you represent your family, you represent your job. So I know every time I go, I represent Panionis, I represent myself and my family. And I don't want to do anything to let any of those down. So I, I go out and I prepare and I work hard because I understand that with high expectations, you know, there's a reason they're there. People believe in you. You know, it could be worse. You could have no expectations and no one believe in you. But I'd rather have that where people believe in us and our talent. And I think it's a, a sign of respect that they expect this from you. Because if, if you weren't a good player or your team wasn't talented, they would expect nothing. And I think that would be the worst situation. Uh, as you noticed, I tried to avoid numbers, statistics, yeah. <laughs> assists and points and scores. Uh, I think uh, the, the public of Neas Mirny uh, who watch uh, uh, NSTV.gr would like to get to know Eric. Eric the person, Eric the part of Panionios. So I think we gave them a, a good chance to get to know Eric. Uh, good luck with all the games, good luck with your targets. Be healthy. Uh, I wish for the team to be healthy. I wish for the coach to be healthy. And all the best to, to, the, coming, uh, to the coming games uh, of the season. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. I'm Eric McCullum for www.nstv.gr. Στο τέλος λοιπόν ο Έρικ μας είπε, όπως φυσικά γνωρίζουμε και όλοι μας, ότι όταν παίζεις μπάσκετ εκπροσωπείς τον Πανιόνιο, την ομάδα σου, εκπροσωπείς τον εαυτό σου και εκπροσωπείς την οικογένειά σου. Πρέπει λοιπόν να είναι πάρα πολύ προσεκτικός για το, για το ότι εκπροσωπεί την οικογένειά του, εκπροσωπεί τον ίδιο του τον εαυτό και εκπροσωπεί και ένα πολύ σοβαρό κλαμπ του ελληνικού αθλητισμού με πολλές διακρίσεις. Αποφύγαμε να, κάνουμε, αποφύγαμε να μιλήσουμε με τον Έρικ για στατιστικά, για αριθμούς, αποφύγαμε να πούμε τους πόντους του. Θέλαμε το κοινό της διαδικτυακής τηλεόρασης Νέα Μύρμης να γνωρίσει τον άνθρωπο Ερικ Μακόλουν, το κομμάτι της ομάδας του Πανιωνίου Ερικ Μακόλουν και τον ευχαριστήσαμε που ήταν μαζί μας σήμερα. Για τη διαδικτυακή τηλεόραση της Νέας Μύρμης, Δημήτρης Πετρόπουλος από το Καφέ Χάμπιτς.